how did you come up with the idea for Outsiders? Um, you know, I read an article about a group of people that had been living on a top of a mountain in New Jersey for a couple hundred years, and I thought that that was really interesting. This what a bunch of weirdos living up there, and there. The, uh, and then and then I started thinking about what well, what would that be about, and what if you took that to an extreme level where you had people that just didn't believe in technology and really were almost like some kind of crazy Amish clan meets a hippie commune meets a biker gang, and, you know, meets gypsies and. And, uh, and, and then I thought, well, where, where, would, where would that get set? And thought it would be interesting to put it in Appalachia with mountaintop removal and so on. It all just kind of came together in my head, and then I, and then I just kind of spun it out. How, what was the research process like for going to a group that probably hasn't kept as much written record? Well, the ferals are totally fictional. They're totally made up. So there was really no research at all. Oh, or, or I should say very little research. Uh, I consulted a thing called the internet um, <laughs> in order to read about certain things that would have been like, you know, um, runic things and, and old Irish and Welsh customs and things like that. But very little because I really kind of wanted it to just be free and, and to be fictional and not based in anything, anything real, you know. Uh, one thing that struck me as season one played out is I kept expecting somebody to die, especially I thought Big Foster probably wouldn't make it through. W were you ever tempted to kill off either him or one of the other main characters? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did. You know what? We did talk about it, and it's interesting that you're interested in killing Jerome. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, uh, we did We did originally think that, for example, and I always hate to bring this up, but Sally Ann was going to be killed mm -hmm. by Big Foster at one point. Of course, we realized that that relationship was really important and the way it was playing out was working really well. And so, and also he had already killed Reese and we said enough with the killing. And so we didn't, but we weren't tempted beyond that. And obviously we backed off from that. So I think... Um, I, I think in a lot of television these days, that somehow qualifies as like a huge plot thing. So that it seems like the death rate in television television is so much higher than in the general population. Oh, yeah. I don't know why anybody's in television. <laughs> Soon nobody will be. They're all they'll all be dead. Uh, well, but with some of these characters, you've taken their arcs to fairly natural conclusions in the first season. Uh, when approaching season two, how did were there some people that you weren't sure what to do with um, as you were crafting that and kind of had to come up later or did it all just kind of naturally unfold uh, based on what you had? I don't think we were sure of anything at the end of, <laughs> at, at, you know, because look, you, it's a, television production is very difficult and you get wrapped up in it and you're just trying to get to the finish line yeah. and that's all you're thinking about. Every now and then you'll go, you know, if there's another season, this would be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. you have that kind of easy sort of conversation, but yeah, nothing if you, focused. If, you, if you're at mile 20 running a marathon, you're not thinking about, well, you know, well, how am I going to run my next marathon? <laughs> you're just trying to get to the, you're That's just trying exactly to get to the right. end. So we just put that off. I mean, we, I, I'm sure we, we didn't feel daunted by the task, but we knew that we wanted to take these characters to different places, to unexpected places, to keep the audience interested, and and so we gave ourselves a challenge, which I think we I think we rose to to some degree. Yeah, absolutely, it's a great show. Thank you yeah. very much for talking to me today. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you.